Hey guys, it's Snow aka Jed, the rogue behind ClassicRogueCraft.com. So today I thought I'd bring you the first of my AQ40 Rogue 99 Pass Guides. So you guys really liked my Veil Guide, my Razor Gore Guide and Blackwing Lair. So I'm going to do the same for the AQ40 buses where I describe the ins and outs of what's required to really min-max these fights and hopefully get you your 99 Pass. So I'm going to break this down using my recent run. I had a really clean Uro lately and Uro has been one of the buses where I've had a lot of fun in the fight because there's so many min-max things. There's vanishes, there's evasions, there's lips. I'll show you how to use all of them and how you can min-max your Uro and get that 99 pass, breaking down my own 99 pass in AQ40 on Uro. So yeah, let's get into it. And as always, if you want to help support ClassicRowcraft.com or all of this free content that I create, my website, you can head over to twitch.tv slash snowme and you can hit that subscribe button. All the subs help support everything I do on Classic Rowcraft and I do have some massive, massive changes coming up to the stream, some really big events that we're planning. So uh, you should head over there, hit the follow. I stream every two-ish days, so three, four times a week I'll be streaming, but yeah. Feel free to hop on there, ask any questions you want on stream, and I will catch you guys in the next video or on the next stream. Oh, and before I forget, if you are a Twitch sub, please don't forget to join the Discord. There's a whole bunch of you that are sub that haven't joined the Discord to get the free bonus videos every week. I think we're up to something like 15, 16 bonus video guides in the extra sub channel. So yeah, make sure you hook up your Discord and Twitch and get those bonus guides. But yeah, let's get into the video now. Okay, so first let's cover a couple basics on Uro, just in case you're not already aware of them. For rogues, there's two main skills you really need to understand and watch for to min-max on an Uro pass. So the first is Sandblast. Sandblast is a frontal cone type AoE that targets the highest person on threat and hits everyone in a cone shape in the direction that Uro is facing. It does a ton of nature damage and is also a threat drop. So how your guild will deal with this will depend on your own guild. You need someone to take top aggro before each sandblast and eat the damage plus threat drop. Now there are a ton of methods to deal with this and, and every guild is going to be a little bit different. So some guilds use casters, some use warriors. Overall it doesn't really matter as long as the person handling each sandblast makes sure that they don't hit the rest of the guild with the sandblast. Most guilds will designate a section or side of Uro for people to stand when they are top threat and they are going to be the sandblast target. So you notice here that my guild rotates warriors for our sandblast. They stand on the opposite side of the raid to our melee and that's when they eat and take the sandblast. As a rogue, if everything goes perfectly, you actually shouldn't have to deal with the sandblast, but it's still a good idea to know where your sandblast area is, just in case you do happen to draw aggro and you don't have a vanish available. I find that most wipes on Uro are usually caused by people who over aggroed or who become the sandblast target and they don't know where they're supposed to stand and they end up sandblasting half the raid and, and half the raid wipes. So don't be that guy, make sure you know where the sandblast area is so that you don't wipe your raid. Now I'd highly recommend using a greater nature protection potion ahead of this fight for safety. You can pop one ahead of time and then pop one during the fight as well. It will keep you alive if you happen to eat a sandblast. A quick tip I can give for the sandblast as well is that if you are in a situation where you find yourself too high on threat with no vanish up, you can actually purposely eat a sandblast for the threat drop. You won't die as long as you have a greater nature protection potion popped up and you'll be able to DPS afterwards without worrying about threat. So it kind of functions as a cheaty little vanish. Okay, so the second ability and the most fun one really to min-max is the sweep. At regular intervals, Uro will use sweep, which does damage and knocks back everyone around Uro. Getting hit by that sweep will lower your DPS, which obviously you don't want to do. So when you get knocked out and you have to run back in, that's going to lower your uptime. So you want to negate the sweep as much as possible. There are three main ways you can avoid the sweep beyond just hoping that you luck into a dodge. One, evasion. So sweep is a physical attack. So for one sweep, you can just hit evasion and you should have a very, very high chance to dodge that sweep. Two, you have lip. Because sweep is physical based, lip will immune the sweep as shown here. Three, vanish. So the good old vanish immunity trick is back again. For those of you who are familiar with it, you want to watch for the sweep caspar then vanish in the last half second to last quarter second-ish of the sweep cast to immune the sweep fully. 
So just like in previous raids, like in Blackwing Left or Chromag or for the Nefarian Fear, as long as you vanish and you time your vanish to hit at, right at the end of the cast, it will immune whatever ability is being casted onto you. Note that there seem to be two things that can immune by the vanish. So there's the damage and then there's the knockback. If you time it perfectly at the end of the cast, you can immune both. But notice here, I vanished half a second early and it only immuned the knockback portion, but not the damage. So just be aware of that and try not to cast that vanish a little bit too early like I did in this example here. Now, if you do eat the damage, it's not a big deal, but obviously it's better to not eat the 2k damage by timing the vanish a little bit better. I generally recommend that you use the Vanish Immune on one of the earlier sweeps during the fight when you're actually getting into that danger territory on your threat meter. Then you can both reset your threat and immune a sweep at the same time. Okay, now let's cover two issues that might come up during the Uro fight. One, what do you do with the other sweeps? So if your guild doesn't have a crazy fast kill time, um, for me, I'm not in a guild that's a crazy fast kill guild. I'm not in a super hardcore guild you probably are going to have one to two or even more sweeps to deal with beyond these three that you can avoid by using evasion, vanish, and lit. So you have two choices here. One is just eat it and run back if it hits you. You actually don't lose too much uptime if you run back in with a sprint, for example. And there's always the chance that you might dodge if you just stay in. Or two, you can run out and run back in to dodge the sweep just like you would dodge a Chromag AoE Blast. You just need to run out of range of the sweep and back in again. Now obviously 2 is a safer option, although personally I tend to gamble a bit and pick option 1 and hope that I get good RNG and dodge the sweep. Just be aware that if you do dodge, it can be a little scary sometimes because if the tank also gets swept and you end up being the highest target on threat in melee range because everyone else that was hard in you just got swept away, this can get you smacked by Uro as you can see happened to me in one of my previous fights. Alright, so now you know the min-max tricks, let's watch the full fight in real time and I'll break it down. Okay, so here we can see my tank is all the way over there, he's running in first because he's the guy that's going to be tanking Uro. So we go in and we run into the engage. You can see my tank is standing on the opposite side of Uro and then we're going to stand on this side of Uro. You can mark your target like we do, so we have a mark on someone to um, know where to stand. So you can see I'm just doing my standard rotation. Rotation doesn't really change much on Uro. Um, just be aware of the sweep. So this is the one area you can kind of think about. So if you know a sweep is coming, just be aware, like right here, you see right here, I popped my slice and dice just before a sweep came in. This is actually a mistake. Um, if I could go back and min-max this even more, I would probably hold that slice and dice after the sweep just in case um, I get hit. Like what happens here, then I don't waste uptime on my slice and dice. So the better way to do that would have been to hold my slice and dice, see if I get hit by sweep, and then pop it after I come back in if I did get hit by the sweep. Okay, so we continue the fight now. Uh, we're going to wait for another sweep, so as always, you should be paying attention to your DBM timers to see when the next sweep is coming. So I see the next sweep is coming, so I'm going to plan ahead and immune this one with a lip. So you see I hit that immune, and you can see sweep gets immune. So I stay in here, no big deal, we continue fighting, and the fight continues as normal. So now um, we're getting into danger territory, honestly. We're, we're, honestly, if I could redo this fight, I would probably have not evasion this one. So you can see I hit evasion for this second sweep. I probably, if I could redo it, I would vanish the second one and evasion the third one instead. I think that's a safer way to do it. Um, and instead, I vanish the third one. But it's, it's, uh, it's up to you. It's going to be up to how your guild threat is. But if I could redo this, I would have vanished the second one and immune the third one with a lip instead. Alright, so you can see this next sweep is coming up. So for this next sweep, I'm going to immune it with a vanish. So you can see I vanished like half a second early, just barely a little bit early. So I didn't immune the damage, but I did immune the knockback. So I still got hit by a damage, but it's honestly not a big deal because uh, the 2k damage isn't a make or break thing there. So yeah, that's pretty much the Uro fight. You can see um, nothing else really changes. So the most of the fight here is just about the sweeps, how you're handling the sweeps. And don't forget to throw in a little sapper charge if you want. Uh, Uro is not immune to sapper, so if you want to pump your DPS up a little bit more and you don't need the sappers for 
trash coming up, uh, you can throw a little sapper in here. Now for phase two, do note that uh, obviously if you don't kill Uro before the submerge, he's going to submerge and then and you're going to have to deal with the ads that pop up when he comes out of his submerge. Those generally aren't a big deal. Your guild should have a strategy to deal with that. Uh, basically, once he comes back up, you kill the ads and then you continue Uro like normal. So those aren't generally a big deal. And a lot of guilds that have a decent amount of DPS should be able to one-shot um, Uro as well. And if you're in a semi-hardcore and above guild, I would say if you can get to Uro with world buffs, you'll probably one-phase him like we did here. So yeah, but if you don't one-phase him, then obviously just be aware that uh, you have to deal with that phase two. But again, it's not really on the rogues to really handle that much there. You're, you're pretty much just running around avoiding Uro when he's underground. Now, the only other little thing I will mention is that Uro does gain a massive attack speed bonus at 20% and less HP. So just be aware of that. Uh, some guilds will ask you to save your DPS cooldowns for that 20% less phase. Sometimes if your guild kills really fast, you might have to actually pop it before 20% because you might kill him within faster than your Adrenaline Russian Blade Flurry will time out basically. So yeah, that depends on your guild though. But just be aware of that phase. Uh, you guild may ask you to save your DPS cooldowns for that period of burn time. Alright, so those are my tips for the Uro fight if you want to get a 99 pass as your rogue here. So I hope that helped you out. Again, the Uro fight is a lot of fun because there's all these little things that you can be doing to watch for the evasion, the lips, the vanish. It's a, it's a really fun fight. I really do enjoy the Uro fight and I wish you luck in getting your 99. So if you like this video, feel free, leave a subscribe. If you want to see this sort of stuff live, I do VOD reviews and log reviews live on stream all the time. So you can check me out at twitch.tv slash snowme. I stream every second day basically. So yeah, come hang out, come say hi, and I will catch you guys in the next video.